Hi, good evening and welcome to another live stream. I stream events from Swedish Cycling Federation Road Challenge 2, which is the second road challenge. I actually won the first one by one thousand of a second. Today it will be a different kind of course. The last one was flat. Today we will ride uh, Epic Com after only four days, followed by what's it called Hilly route you know the last small climb the next to Watopia uh, first backwards or reverse and then yeah that was the fourth first backwards then later on forward and finish it off with epic comp again but from the other side so it's a really hilly course looks like this and 72 case will of course take its toll on the riders so I'm expecting a long hard day feel free to send me a message through the chat I can see them both Petrus Johansson and Johan Balström sharing me on last week we did uh, the mountain bike challenge I didn't have the best day, finished 7th or 8th, hoping for better today, but who knows, I have a new uh, layout for my stream, please let me know what you think, and I was hoping to give you some more, but came home from work just 30 minutes ago, so Basically, just had to get myself ready and set up the bike and computer, so this will do. Leave a comment with your opinions, and I hope you enjoyed this race. On my last race, I had some dropouts. Hopefully, I won't have that today, so I can race full time. Okay, four k's before the until the climb starts. Epicom. Let's go! It's about 200 registered riders. Let's see uh, how many who has come to the start. One hundred and forty three riders. <laughs> I rarely do any races against Swedish riders. Or long climbs like today so it will be interesting to see how they perform and of course how I perform I just saw Daniel Ben again passing by super strong mountain biker but pretty new to Swift I can see DJ also there super strong rider there are actually two brothers, so I don't know which one of them is here, or if they are both here. Jay Olson was fourth in the last road challenge and did a really strong ride on the mountain bike event last week as well. If it is Jacob, he has the 21st fastest time ever on Strava up Sakalobra climb so if that's the guy he's the one to follow 
Yeah, it's 2J awesome here, so... Who is it? If it is, then... Yeah, it's 2J awesome, so... We have the brothers here, with Jacob being a super talented climber. He will, of course, go super fast in the uphill, so... We'll see how I manage that. It's a long race, so plenty of time for you guys to <laughs> enter something in the chat. Who you think will win, and if you have any questions or something. Did I just see a guy with a mountain bike here? In the pink cap to the right. I hope mountain bikes are bad for climbing. Super steep when you think you reach the top. You can turn left and go even higher up. Expecting it to be like five or six riders maybe on the top of the first climb. And we'll see how many makes it up the bonus climb. And then it might just get lonely during this race, but we'll see. When I was setting up the computer here, getting ready for a race, I actually got saw a guy on, on roller skates outside with a Borat kind of mankini and speedos. Don't know what that was about, but <laughs> distracted me for a while. He's for real or just joking with us. Thank you. 
nice. Easy start to race, man. The Olsman brothers, they are both very talented, talented so I have to push out for both of them. Fifteen or so, still in the group. I actually did a sixty-nine k long race yesterday with four times up box hill, so I prepared for long and hard races. It's just a matter of surviving and hope that awesome doesn't push 7 watts per kilo the entire time. Thank you, Yuan. Wishing you luck. Someone told her also not to do any hard efforts in front. So why is he backing off?
no one really wants to push. Maybe they're waiting for the final push to the top after the KRM. William and Jay Wee, Jay Cavalier, sorry, just let's go. Now to six, race six, and go hard. Thank you, boys. Flat section, nice and easy. Everyone being really defensive. Thank you, Linda. Shutta, shutta. Someone has another guy is struggling. You can only hope for the best. But more and more riders lose the front, and I stay in the front. Those four in front of me are all super strong, and some as well as the others. The rest of the guys, of course. If you made it <coughs> this far up the climb, then you probably are a strong rider. So far, so good. Heart rate of 170, something I can manage a long while. <coughs> Paper! Not snoring on my floor. <laughs> Improvements. So I don't think everyone has given me the, the all yet, so <laughs> saving some for the final 60Ks of the race.
when we go the other direction towards the end, then there's no radio tower. <coughs> Only in the first time. Nobody even following him because nobody wants to show what they got already. So we're in the race. <coughs> they have something left there. Wait. Right. I know the radio travel part is really hard. And if you can get a gap on the top, you might just go down super fast and leave everyone behind. I've done so before. And I don't know what can happen even when a small gap like four or five seconds I might have gotten into trouble there when we caught him in high speed. Saw so someone dropping behind the peloton. So now he's probably chasing back up again. Hard work for no good. Now we can see the arch of the KOM, if you remember, then it's when the climb actually starts. With the steep part anyway. <laughs> Okay, attacking again. <laughs> Not knowing we're going for the radio tower. <laughs> also seems prepared. Okay, let's recover, recover, recover. And then full throttle into the climb and keep it steady and hard. This will be a really hard climb, I tell you that. I expect some full gas now after the easy start to the climb. Maybe the French guy will get. Fast, really fast again. Who knows? Let me see orange numbers. People kicking in it.
Might have been too hard to earn it, but made it to the top. Most awesome. That's good. Losing the wheels. Might just catch him on a long sprint. Up next, short run. Whew. Yeah, closing the gap. Nice. Now we have a small gap and one's behind us just for pushing all the crest. So easy to get dropped even in the descent. Oh, which is good now. <coughs> we make the awesome brother suffer behind us. And I can rest here for with zero power. Then Jakobson says, find another race where you can see something. The stream at the Cycling Union is down. Hendrik said, shutta shutta. And we climb just a few seconds ago, or minutes ago. You see, we have now 18 seconds to our followers. <laughs> but the French guy and the whatever, Cypress, something has been left behind, oh, or leaving us behind with sprinting all the way down. Hopefully they will get flagged, or else, if they don't get flagged, then they are super strong and deserve to go away like that. <coughs> Only the three of you here, three guys. Are all very good at Swift, so might be an advantage against the awesome brothers who are strong, but maybe not as yes. haven't been using Swift the way the rest of us. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Let's hope the speed gets higher than this thing and Lundqvist. Or else I'm in a bit of a hurry. Elmo says looking good. Yeah, but not if I lose the wheel of the guys in front of me. Can't have that. Can we? One push to close the gap. There we go. <coughs> and into super tuck again. Super tuck. There we go. 17 seconds to a group who has become larger now. Awesome brothers have been caught by the rest. One, two, three, four, five riders chasing us.
one says that the Elfin Brothers are now used. No, <coughs> that they are fresh to swift, so this is the thing, kind of things we can do to <coughs> get rid of them. Although they are essentially much stronger than than I am, for instance. <coughs> As you can see now, the two front guys have divided, so they're riding solo, which is good for us, who are a small group chasing them. You can also see that the group behind us is getting closer. <coughs> and, when it, when it moves, <coughs> and when we get down to the flat, they will have maybe higher speed into the flat and will for sure close the, <coughs> close the gap to our group. Is out of the group. So at the moment I don't know I don't know if I wanna push. I wanna push because I wanna get rid of Olson and Ibison. But also if I push and they still catch us then they will have the advantage. So I will see if Lundqvist and Wisting wanna push. And if they wanna push then I push. If they don't want to push, I don't want to push either. Because it's 49 k to go. Now we have reverse, climb, and shortly after we will have the forward climb. Best thing for us would be if the guys behind us on the green. Okay, I show some morale, see if the others will follow. <coughs> Ten seconds, one, two, three, four, five riders. Best thing is maybe to wait for them. Don't quit us from one push hard. What I see? 5.2 is okay. But I did some McShane and the super strong time trial guy. And the awesome brothers are of course super strong as well. But having a 10 second gap to the climb is of course very good for us. Wisting not pulling, he's the young one here. I know it is it is 14 or 15. Lundqvist is, I think, older than me. Now 38. So he's the one playing it smart right now. Wisting, there is. This is also a place where they could catch us with high speed into the <coughs> small incline. Round two guys, uh, seems like they are getting together soon again. <laughs> now Wisting is pushing hard. Showing some good morale here in our little group. And I'm ready, so if the wattage drops, then Don't Chris and I should take over. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's my turn now. <laughs> this is this will be a long hard day if you keep on like this. William says I should wait. The group. I was thinking about waiting, but now I think it's Better if we keep them pushing and still have a small gap to the climb. 
then I can wait for them on the top of that line. You see also now riding almost in panic, seven kilos, seven watts per kilo. So we make them suffer before the climb and then I can wait. He's putting orange numbers just to try and catch us, which is good. Unfortunately, he drags everyone with him. He could have just attacked in the climb, but as I told you, he's new to Swift, so... Here we go. actually good. Now we have one of the also brothers here and assist us and get afraid of the other guys. We just don't want his brother to catch us. Okay now, let's push to the top, so the also on Ivy's on little doesn't quite catch us. No quite, no twist, no it as well. Seven seconds now. Good. If we just push over the first, then we will get rid of them. And then we can race the positions later.
So this current says it's 50 plus views here when you're sweet cycling. And also William says it makes sense push just below the effort. And soft pedal to the end of the climb. So now we have a little group of four here, strong riders. Hopefully now we will get rid of Harrison and Jay Olson. And I'm hoping that the Jay Olson in this group will contribute with a lot of power. But maybe he's waiting for his brother. We'll find out in a minute. Now we're checking split power to see. Next climb is after 41 case. Then we go this climb again, but in the opposite direction. And then Chris for sure is happy with this group. I'm also quite happy. I think I can beat Lem Chris in a sprint. Might just be this thing as well. Also, I don't know, I beat him in the first road challenge, but then he did a few attacks in the final 2k, so if we place this smarter, maybe he will outsprint me as well. Okay, what we see now is nobody wants to push, and the guys behind are pushing 5.5 to 6 watts per kilo, so we need to get this group moving, and then we can chill if we get a considerable gap. So now I push, only to make the others follow my wheel and push hard by themselves. It would be really cool if the also in our group would drop back to his brother just to make it more interesting. Because he's in the chase. Now nobody wants to go to the front. Nobody wants to push too bad because then the view might just catch us because I don't want to push if no one else is pushing. So then there will be six of us. Teasing them a bit, making them push anyway. Catching the foreign riders as well soon. This is what you can do with tactics. Small push has made the others push, and then we pick up some speed again.
we want to demoralize the chase so you give up no I don't know if two riders would give up but see now they're going below five so maybe they are getting tired so push a little more see if they give up They have been chasing for a while now, so we should be getting tired any minute now. I just hope that the rest of this group realizes that and follow through when I let them up to the front. Good chance now when they are relaxing behind us. It's actually get a gap. So why aren't they pushing? Six seconds now. That was a, not what I well, not was what I was hoping for. But this is what I get when nobody wants to push. them okay now time for proper recovery and then forward climb followed by reverse epicon now the awesome brothers can push too bad to have Strong view like that in, in this group. It was much better when one of the drivers were <coughs> the pace. But now I think for sure we will catch the rider from France and the other guy, Pontorst. Pontorst is disqualified on Swift Power. Someone is telling me in the chat. LB, thank you. Okay now, recovery time, halfway through, almost. Swift race, we need to get some drink, 5k is the next plan. Nobody wants to push, so the French guy and phone calls. He's moving away. Oh no, they're not. 22 seconds. Nothing on a group of six like us. But we have firepower. No idea, but now I'm just guessing here. Ivy Song, Ivy Song, very really strong time trialist. Also, I think Lindy Christ is a good view to Max. The Olsen brothers, 
the young lines along with twisting to be super young and hopefully when we pass the first hour maybe it will that the young ones will feel it a bit more than us elderly riders but who knows I think there are some brothers who are probably training a lot more than I am so who knows if we keep on pushing like this then <laughs> the next group will catch us as well I think for me Lundqvist it will be better with high speed because then we roll our closer to our VO2 max and less likely to get out sprinted by young guys young guys what do you think? please leave a comment in the live chat subscribe to the channel like the video Share it with your friends and super chat. Send me super chat. 39 seconds. I've been soon gonna drop out to something, pushing a sprint behind us to catch us again. So he's suffering again now. Good for me. After 31, 41 case, this plan comes, and then after maybe, is it 47 or something? The next time comes epic KOM reverse. As you can see beside, behind us, there's first one Spanish rider, one minute 14 seconds, and then I think it was a trio. Friday 147 behind so even though there is a trio we are six riders so we don't have to push the same wattage but still go as fast as them 54 viewers hi guys we're running towards the cord climb cord climb I think it's called that look Anyway, super steep in the beginning and flattens towards the end. <coughs> it's a 1 minute 45 or something. We were like 23 seconds behind the leading view, but now we're 40 seconds behind. And the group behind us are also catching us. <laughs> Take a typical second group. Suffering from following the first guys. <laughs> and the others are chasing. For your information, your voice can be louder. Thank you, William. I should get a microphone. Now we have the water bike and the fan, makes a lot of sound, noise, so if you guys super chat me, I buy a microphone, okay? Getting a question if it's a breakaway? No, this is the second group or main group, call it what you want, maybe two guys ahead of us are the breakaway. So, 4 KOM, now forward climb, I know how it feels when I'm fresh, now I will feel it after an hour of racing, including epic comb and reverse climb.
how the leading goo is preparing for the climb. As you can see, they are not pushing, so we are or maybe just swift error. With the time gaps. We're now after this intersection. William Hansen, 20 euros contribution to microphone. Thank you very much. If you have any idea on what kind of microphones are the best, please let me know. Okay, now forward climb. Here we go. Legs hurting already. Jesus! So, no one got dropped. Get up, got a bit more tired. Oh my god. <laughs> and now we have the Epic KOM reverse coming up. Oh my god. Don't forget to refuel. Thank you, Rashlina. Appreciate it. I'm actually feeling it, but don't tell my components. Opponents, from from yeah, you know, you know, I'm tired now, right? <laughs> I don't know if the first two will be disqualified. If one of them gets disqualified and the other don't, and he follows the disqualified rider, he will still win. So, best thing would be if we can catch them. But then, but then the others in this group have to show a bit more effort in wanting to catch them.
medium says that my average watt per kilo was better than the liters and now it seems to be a six second gap I don't know if it's the timing on Swift or it's, if it's actually six seconds but if it, it's, if it, it would be really good if they weren't riding together French guy <laughs> pulling monster power just to try and catch contours so he will probably catch him maybe they on Z power both of them now we have a bigger group to the guy follow guys following us the Spaniard seems to be caught by the other three guys but we have a much larger gap now so it's us six and the two boys in front of us and we're going to epic com once again after 47k so about two k's to go now i was the guy getting dropped stupid mistake French guy seems to quit pushing. First bottle, second bottle. But now it's the Epicom, and then maybe six, five or six case on the flat after the climb was a finish but I guess you'll know when we reach the top who are who will be the strongest rider today and the two have joined forces in the front so I don't know if we will catch them. Let's see. Remember also we got rid of the Olson brothers by going away from them just before the descent and in the downhill. So, or it was actually in the descent we got rid of them. So maybe we can get rid of them. Get rid of them the next descent also or maybe they learn their lessons with the first time more than 60 viewers now hi guys welcome to this channel riding the cyclo swedish cycling federation road challenge number two i won the first one but that was flat this is different kind of race with plenty of climbing we will now enter the final climb and it's a long one. If only we would, we would have pushed, we might have caught a French guy and contours. But this is a waiting game. And let's see who's the strongest climber. Also seem to have done their homework, not pushing super hard all the way, like they have done in the early races. So getting better on swift racing for each time. Oh boy! Here we go. Final climb. I need all the 
encouragement I can get from you guys because this would be a hard one 70 minutes of racing and going into epic KOM reverse As you can see, you know, the front guys uh, have entered the climb, pushing super hard footage, and we will do a really steep first part here. Seems like the group behind us are only 36 seconds behind. The steel. Look at the two guys in front. Pushing orange numbers all the time. Maybe they are pro riders, but still, those numbers, unbelievable, so strong, you okay, know, time for the long one, wish me luck.
Yeah, they're all great now. Jakobsson says that on toast is deep cool, so we're ready for victory. I don't know about the Fahaga Fahe guys. They're from French from France. But also also sorry. Okay, now final push.
Ich lasse da nicht so. Ah. William says, this is brutal. Yes, it is. And Norma says, the whole she race, Henrik. So it's just wrong. Yeah, okay, you maybe can see it in the live stream, so I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Oh, Jesus. Also, I've got two minutes of us now, and I'm toast, as the saying goes on Swift. Oh, jeez. French word for anything, everything. Oh. No, we don't want to be on the front because then when you enter the climb, I think it will pass me. So maybe Lundqvist will get ahead of me right now, which is good, and I can catch his wheel to the climb. Yeah, perfect timing. I don't know why it says zero power. Come on, boy. Oops. Drop out. Not what you want in the final part of the race. Ah. Legs are so stiff right now. Don't want to do anything. Like that, right now. Oh, Jesus! Can we get to the finish line, please? <laughs> One minute thirty-three to awesome. Strong to the right from him now. to pick up some speed and in descent but then again everybody in this group has to work together and not just roll down This was a steep. <laughs> Seventy one uh, viewers. You can read in the scrolling text. Well, if you need to subscribe to the channel and so on. <coughs> okay, I'm riding in the hopes of catching awesome, so therefore I'm pushing a bit. Can't just give up just because he's strong. But he seems to have done his homework for today's race. See there, I got a little sprint pain. Again, me actually a, <coughs> a gap. But then on the other hand, also is sprinting downhill himself, so. Lundqvist dropped by four or five seconds. So if the other two can catch me, then we might get rid of Lundqvist in the descent, so. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now they're catching me, so if I sprint, 
What's up with the power now? I'm moving my bike closer to the computer so maybe I can get some more connection. Better connection. That's why I'm making these stupid moves. Now look it's three seconds behind. Can we get rid of him by descending faster? Even if we don't get rid of him, he's sprinting for his life right now. 21 meters, 20 meters, 19 meters. So he's catching us for sure, but we're making him suffer anyway. I'm just doing this for punishing Lundqvist. Now we caught us. Which of course is good if you want to catch all some. But it was fun messing with Lundqvist. We need a speed. More speed, come on boys, more speed. Also, if they're twice, or is it a different rider with the same name? It's actually two brothers. I think it's Jacob and Jonathan. Jacob, the strongest one, I think. Ah, today anyway. Can we have him? Jacob has the 21st best time in the world in the classic Sakalobra climb on Mallorca so he's for sure a super strong rider one second behind Kwiatkowski on Strava so I wasn't expecting to keep his wheel in the climb all I can do is hope for better tactics and this in this race if we get some speed <coughs> Maybe we'll make up some of the time we lost in the climb because the group of four is riding faster than a solo rider. So. We'll see. It's one minute now, but when we get to the flat part, we will very, very quickly catch a few seconds. William Rick Hansen was kind enough to give me a super chat for 20 euros. Getting one big step closer to getting a microphone so you can hear me better. And the rest of you guys, 70 of you, you know what to do. Jan Jakobsson says team churning. Riding as a team, yeah. Maybe the Olson, Jonathan Olson will sit on our wheels here. But then Lundqvist this thing and I have to do the hard work and I'm riding I'm rather riding for victory than just for sprinting for a second place after all this is not the world championships it's more fun to race for victory than just going easy for good <coughs> placement. <coughs> I think everyone here is, have shown themselves strong, so no question about it. seconds I'm not even considering catching the foreign riders because that's mission impossible but and also I'm pushing like eight nine watts per kilo and during the flat now we just have to time try this way to the finish but we have a long flat section now <coughs> maybe a group of four 
and catch him. Forty seconds, thirty-nine. As I said, when we enter the flats, we have high speed and swift timing is basically distance, but converted into seconds. So. Okay, now let's see who else wants to win. I go first, then learn twist, also when the whisting has to follow. second place Something is wrong. Oh no. I wasn't attacking. Come on. Ah. Stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Okay. I guess this means I want to be catching anyone anymore. Of course, now they push hard. We're waiting, guys. Ah. Are we racing for victory? Or are we racing for second? One hour, forty minutes. Man, <laughs> funny comments now in the chat. One guy would have thrown the computer out of the windows. The window, that guy would have jumped himself. Let's hope no more dropouts. Ah, oh, lost him. Power there. Eh? 
also needs moving away. No one wants to work. Everyone has given up. I'd rather be fifth and try and be second after freewheeling my way to the finish. So brutal. My legs are so so stiff right now. Attacking for second rather than riding for victory. Come on now. No, Chris is too strong. Can't let him go. Because then we will be sprinting for third. Now, I'm just realizing this, going for the attack. Smart move, for second place anyway. See if we can catch him in the climb. Maybe 10 seconds is too much, but I'll give it a go. It's the only chance, I think. Now the boys are pushing. tell anyone because then they also will attack and I will be left alone oh, no bit has anything left after 105 minutes of racing
Okay, awesome for a Swedish win. Then we second, and I'll try to sprint the young guns for third. I'm gonna come from the back, come from behind, catch their wheels, and overtake them in the finale. A brutal race. Oh my god. Oh. Finishing seventh here. Bacero wasn't in the race at all. Hontors first. Maybe gets DQ'd. Fahey. Seems to be a super light rider, 5.4. But if one horse is disqualified on swift power, then Fahe and Vaquero has no heart rate, so also averaging 186 beats per minute. Got the win, 4.8 kilos, 4.8 watts per kilo with a super strong ride on the Epicom oh. Lundqvist did a smart move Everyone was tired I was tired too after catching those guys following my dropout in power and then this thing had a better sprint than me in the end at least, at least I beat one of the awesome boys oh. I thought yesterday's race was hard. It was like 94 minutes at 304 watts. This was only 291 minutes, but for a guy, 108 minutes. Yep. If you like this stream and want to see more streams, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. And of course, look at all the ads, give me a super chat if you want to, getting a microphone when, <laughs> when you do that. Special thanks this time to William Rick Hansen for providing my first ever super chat. Don't know why I'm getting those dropouts. I, I have raced for a couple of years now without dropouts. And it started dropping out on Swift Classics last week and also a couple of times today. But thank you guys for watching. I will cool down for a while now and then go to sleep. I did some finishing strong solo effort after I got rid of him over the crest of Epicom KOM. Friedholm, Frisk, Savström, all doing strong rides to the SS. Uh, let's see here. Williams has nice effort. Pulkin and giving me a thumbs up. Newman Wallström says, draw shirt. Good job, maybe. Uh, to be us, strong work. Too bad with the dropout at the wrong location. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't going to win anyway, but still took some extra power just to catch the group again. 
Levizalu and Kudum gives me thumbs up. Okay guys, it's late. You should go to bed now. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching.